Hey guys, Kato is here. So today we are one shotting the I don't know slims. Um, and before, just before I go into that, I wanted to say very quickly that uh, one shotting the limbs is actually, in my opinion, one of the three most important parts uh, for doing idolons. Uh, those being one shotting, uh, well, uh, breaking the limbs, breaking the idolon shields, and uh, being the lure handler basically. So um, I know that most people want to one shot uh, the limbs, and that's fine and all. Uh, but if you, uh, you know, when you get good at one shotting the limbs consider uh, maybe uh, breaking the shields as well so that you can fill uh, several roles uh, to fulfill the hunt in case you need that so <clears throat> With that out of the way, uh, what we are using to one-shot the shields, we are using Bolt. Uh, Bolt is the best Warframe to one-shot uh, both the shields and the limbs. Uh, we are using Bolt's electric shield, and uh, we are using I'm using Eclipse in this case to uh, one-shot the limbs. If you don't have Eclipse, you can also use uh, Shock Trooper, which is an augment for for Bolt's one. Uh, you put them on your build and you hold your number one, and that way you get an electric damage buff so you can also use this i will say that uh, eclipse is better however ec to subsume eclipse you need to do the deimos grind which sucks so bad i fucking hate deimos bounties so bad they are so fucking boring like i have literally fallen asleep uh doing deimos bounties uh, a bunch of times uh so yeah i ran out of the way we are using as you can see uh, this is the build that i use i i have mostly ability strength and so some duration and efficiency to keep our buff up uh, either eclipse or shop trooper and uh, for the shields uh, they only really need a uh, duration we also have uh, efficiency because energy is really scarce on the planes so you know to uh, be able to cast those uh, buffs and abilities as, as long as possible um, arcane momentum to for getting reload speed on our snipers and nullifier to avoid uh, those energy drain procs from the from the idol on fight if you don't have all of this you can also use um this build which is a little bit cheaper uh maybe we can leave a uh, natural talent off and um well um instead of on brand intensify we can use a uh, regular intensify or august uh you know the the ogre mod um this one the one which gives up ability strength um adaptation actually really really important because bolt is pretty squishy actually so uh, you know that is uh, very useful uh bolt really needs all the help that he can get to keep alive and as for the auto mode i am using enemy radar um if you don't want to use enemy radar i will say the best mod to do more damage to the to the idol on uh, health is corrosive projection corrosive projection results in way more damage than that i or rifle amp or something like that uh but you know if you want to use uh that eye you can always um <clears throat> strip the armor of the eidolon with bastilog or um sarpa also works really well uh sarpa is the most accessible but bastilog is the best for this i will say so uh the build um is very simple you don't need all of this actually all that uh you need is just a uh, shattering impact which is the actual mod that streaks uh strips the armor and uh, all the attack speed mods that you can have um if you have um you know all of this um prime fury quickening and gladiator uh, bites definitely use all of this if you don't you can just use regular fury and that's fine this will work uh, well enough the weapon that we're using is the Rubico Prime. Uh, some other snipers work, like uh, Lanka or Vectis Prime, but Rubico Prime, uh, the best sniper for one showing the Eidolons. This is what I use. Um, these two are really not needed. I, I have Galvanized Chamber because I use this build for other stuff as well, but uh, you know, uh, Split Chamber, regular Split Chamber, probably better. It gives you more base multi shot. And Amalgam Serration, the sprint speed actually buffs the. Uh, uh, the sprint speed of your archwing so that is very nice but not needed by any means i do have a ribbon this is the ribbon that i use uh it's pretty all right i would say um if you don't have a ribbon you can always use um <clears throat> 
BG anti armaments, uh, which is really, really great for this. Um, if you want to get a ribbon, uh, critical damage and multi shot are the best stats for the Rubico because it has such high critical chance. So, get something with uh, multi shot or critical damage if you can, uh, but you know, damage or something like that also works really well. Um, Vigilante supplies, uh, not just for the ammo, but also because it has a chance to enhance your critical hits. This means that if you land a critical hit, uh, if you land a yellow normal crit it might become an orange crit if you land a an orange crit it might become a red crit uh this is really not consistent but when it happens it does way more damage than you normally would um <clears throat> so you know that's really useful um as for the as for the focus skill, I am using Madurai. Uh, Madurai is mostly for one-shotting the shields. Uh, previously, Madurai was really good for one-shotting the limbs as well. However, uh, really currently, this is the only uh, skill that affects the uh, the Warframe weapons, I think. And it only gives you physical damage. So, uh, you know, not that great. But Madurai are uh, really, really great for one-shotting uh, the shields. Also, very important, I would really, really recommend that uh, you go to your options menu and uh, on the first tab, you go to customize key bindings. And I have already set it up, uh, but by default, the secondary fire is on the mouse wheel key. Uh, that is both to uh, shoot your secondary fire of your weapons and your arms, and also to change the zoom level on your snipers. Uh, so, this really, really sucks. Definitely don't use it as default. Uh, set the secondary fire to the F key as well as the uh, melee heavy attack that said uh, I have also that set up to the F key and uh, the F key by default is to change weapons so I have uh, changing the weapons set to the mouse wheel and this is so much better in my opinion uh, both uh, to do idolons and for the game in general after you have uh, changed this you go here to the corner you go back and make sure to hit confirm out here that way you can save the settings as for how we actually want to show the shields, it's uh, very easy actually. So first off, what I do is I use my gun blade to strip the armor. Uh, you can see on the health bar there is like that yellow shield that indicates that the uh, Eidolon is currently at full armor. Um, I'm using uh, Bastilok, which again is the best for doing this, but again Sarpa wo works really well as well. So you just, uh, with Bastilok, you just shoot the Eidolon three times. And with three times, we get uh, all of the armor stripped, as you can see. Um, so we actually don't want to strip all of the armor because we do more damage if we have uh, just a little bit of armor as opposed to uh, no armor at all. Uh, if we have no armor at all, uh, we actually lose on about 20% of the damage that we're doing uh, as opposed to, you know, if we have just if we had just a, a little bit ar of armor but uh you know uh a little armor or no armor do uh, way more damage than full armor so we have that um <clears throat> so yeah i usually uh just strip the idolons armor with my uh gun blade then uh we take down the shields obviously And when we have taken off the shields, uh, we put, we place our bolt shields. We use our buff, either Eclipse or uh, Shock Trooper. We aim, very important, and we zoom in all the way. And we unload our magazine, basically. Uh, we don't really, we really don't want to shoot only one time. We want to unload our magazine, pretty much, so that way we do the most damage. Now, a few important parts is that uh, you have to be zoomed in. If you look at the HUD uh, on the screen, you will see that you actually get a buff uh, for shooting with the sniper while you zoom in. And if you change the zoom level to be zoomed all the way, uh, the buff gets higher, actually. So uh, you not only want to be uh, aiming with your sniper, you want to be zooming in all the way so that you get uh, the higher uh, damage buff as well. Uh, when we shoot, if you didn't know, uh, snipers actually have a combo multiplier, much like melee weapons. So if you look again at the HUD, you will see when we shoot at the Eidolon, uh, we stack on the combo multiplier. And uh, the more we stack the combo multiplier, the more damage we do with our shots. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, even if uh, right now we are shooting the Eidolon, even if it's immune, uh, we already have times three combo multiplier. So that means that we will do way more damage when we finally uh, shoot the shields. 
So we have to be aiming and to in order to stack the combo multiplier, if we shoot and don't hit anything, we are wasting a combo multiplier. Likewise, if we shoot or something but we are not aimed in, we don't stack combo. We have to be aimed in and shooting at some enemy, even if they are immune, and we will be stacking the combo multiplier and that way we will do way more damage that is why um, even if the first uh, shots don't seem to be doing that much damage uh, the more shots that we land on the Eidolon the more damage that we will be doing with each consecutive shot so just in real time I'm going to show you I have just broken the shield we have our shield in place. I'm going to, uh, you know, to break the shields of the Eidolon. And um, again, very easy. We just uh, place our shield, use our buff, uh, aim, be some in all the way, and unload the magazine. As you can see, uh, we don't really need to unload the magazine all the time, uh, but you know, it's uh, very useful. Not only uh, in case you don't really one shot it, but also for stacking that combo multiplying multiplier and doing more damage to the limbs Now, one uh, important thing that not everyone may know, so both shields actually give you two buff. They give you an electric damage buff and a critical damage buff. So uh, the electric damage buff actually stacks the more shields you place, uh, which you can stack up to six shields at the same time. That is the maximum number of shields that you can have on the field. Uh, the crit damage buff does not stack, so you can uh, have uh, one shield or six shields, and the uh, crit damage buff will be the same. Uh, so for finishing the Eidolon, you can stack the shields, and um, you know for breaking the limbs, you can also stack the shields, but I would not recommend you stack the shields for the limbs, uh, because you use all your energy, and energy is very uh, uh, resourceful on Eidolons, so you know for limbs, I would recommend you only use one shield and uh, for actually finishing the Eidolon you can uh, stack all six shields if you want so yeah that's how we went show the Eidolon's uh, limbs let me know if I uh, if you have any questions in the comments if I miss anything and I'll see you on the next one